All right, sup everyone. Done this here with day 344 at the gym. I um, <clears throat> got to gym at around 11 p.m. or a little bit after that. Um, sat, stayed in the car for a little bit because I was sitting in there thinking, I can't do this tonight. I, I generally thought I, I can't continue on. I don't think I can get up to 365 days. So I literally just sat in the car for close to 10 minutes, didn't even look at my phone, just sat there and just thought about what I've done so far and just thinking to myself, has this been a total waste of time, waste of effort? Um, is logging all this going to do anything different for me? And then I started thinking, look, this is why you're logging this shit, man. You're logging your day each day with your progress, your mindset, your thought. And I guess to a point, I kind of forgotten that I'm doing that and I do need to express my, my personal feelings, my mindset towards um, each day. And, you know, then I can reflect on it right now with my voiceover with why I was potentially feeling like this. Um, there's a number of reasons to be honest uh let's start with the first reason is nutrition so today what i ate was very minimal i had one coffee so one latte cafe, cafe latte if we're in italy i had uh roughly a bowl of rice which is roughly one cup of rice um approximately 150 grams of chicken which may or may not have been fried it was delicious though um, I had a cup of broccolini and that's essentially what I had until what time that's what I had until about five o'clock oh no I'm lying until four o'clock where at four o'clock I had three crackers. After that, I did my day-to-day -day stuff and had dinner when I got home eventually. And what did I eat? I had 12 nuggets. That's all I've eaten today. No wonder I feel like shit. I have no energy. I'm fatigued and I'm grumpy as fuck. So I guess bring this back to reality and to the here right now is don't skimp out on your nutrition it makes a massive difference energy levels mindset your mental capacity your awareness your focus all that stuff um, it, it's brought into light so essentially from from around six o'clock onwards my mind was just foggy and I felt foggy I didn't have the energy I, I had some patience because I genuinely think the other supplements which I'm intaking at the moment, as well as my um, Brazil nuts for its selenium, it has been helping quite a lot with my mental capacity and my, my focus and um, ability to sort of um, stabilize my mood, as well as my fish oil, which I'm intaking as well. However, nonetheless, you know, it's 11 o'clock. My body probably should be sleeping by now, if, especially if I haven't eaten as much as I should have. Um, no wonder my body is just saying no to me. On that note, I'm glad that I came to the gym because my mind, though it's still a tiny bit foggy, I do feel better. I feel more I guess alert despite feeling still foggy I think the fogginess is just because I haven't eaten enough I just finished off a protein shake so that's one scoop of um, whey protein uh, roughly 28 grams of protein um, I mixed it with water and ice so there's minimal um, calories to that and just had some bottle uh, and a bottle of water so that's all I think yeah, nutrition, mate. Nutrition, super important. And those who are watching this, um, look at the stuff you're eating and make sure you're getting enough macronutrients into your body. Not only for the bodybuilding side of things, your body composition and so forth, but additionally for your your mental capacity, your excuse me, your focus, and um, your ability to just think 
straight as well as your mood to be in a in the right state as well <clears throat> sorry about the cough I just choked a little bit on my saliva all right full stop new paragraph what I noticed at the gym tonight um, borders are open to other states and the level of COVID is escalating the hot spots in our state is escalating significantly um, gyms aren't the best places to go but I do need it one thing I have noticed is that um, apart from myself that there was only one other person with a mask on throughout their workout having said that their mask was below their nose so it's kind of like having pants on but your doodle sticking out same same and then you know you go to piss yourself as we do as an analogy here you go to pee yourself I've got my pants up and my doodle within my pants I pee and it goes all over myself it doesn't spread around to other people right the other person who has his doodle out but his pants up he pees and he pees on my feet a little bit that's kind of the analogy going on here you know um, additionally I hope that I'm able to protect myself by wearing a mask when I'm working out uh, I'll be straight up honest probably 70% of people at the gym tonight where I was there I was working harder than them they did not have a mask on I did come on guys step your game up um, I'm feeling uncomfortable to the point where I may need to actually write an email or something uh, towards the gym and just maybe let them know um, what you know they're they're wanting to enforce but it's not being enforced um, I don't know maybe I shouldn't maybe I should it's it's a hard one to be honest so that's all for now um, I'm just yeah so just jumped onto the leg press I thought I'd do that to finish off um, because I haven't actually gone to this uh, leg press machine it was super duper comfortable and it felt great um, super smooth and um, I liked it well that's all for now guys peace out